want to show you how to make um, this background. It look kind of looks like Vista, like the Vista's background, but um, I want to show you how to make this in Adobe Photoshop, CS3 and CS4. So let's get into it. First thing you want to do is go over to the description and down click on the link that says Forest Photo. And um, that would download this photo right here. Or you can use your own photo which has light. As you can see at the top of this it has like a lot of light. And um, towards the sides and the bottom it gets darker. If you want to use your own photo uh, make sure it's light and it, it has light and dark parts slots in it so it'll come out right if, if not if you're not using your own photo and you download it mine um, just go to file open and click the photo the next thing you're gonna do is go to layer sorry yeah layer new adjustment layer and then color balance I'm gonna leave that the name the same and click OK for the shadow. Click on shadow. Click um, sorry, I forgot one step. Go to filter. There, blur. Sorry, Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur, and um, make that 75. Okay. Now I want to make that new adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go to layer, new adjustment layer color balance okay shadows I want to make that negative 37 negative 40 and negative 7 for midtone you want to make that 15 62 0 highlights you want to make this negative 34 0 and 69 okay now we have um, our basic setup now what you want to do is go open a new layer which is right here or you can go file, well sorry, or you can go layer, new layer, but you can just click right there for new layer. New layer, and go over to the marquee tool, which is this circle. Sorry, um, the, um, you choose the um, oval marquee tool. You can start up from the top corner and go all the way down to the bottom corner. So you start at the left corner and go down to the right corner let go mix an oval now for this part you click back on your selection tool and change the size I, I suggest you change the size to 40 I'm going to use 30 make it go easier the smaller size you have the better it's going to go now select your paint your brush tool sorry and make sure it's on the color white And make sure your brush size is about 400 pixels. You can make it smaller or bigger, but 400 pixels is what I'm going to use. And fill in the outside of this circle. Just go around the outer edge of that oval. Try to make it as even as possible. All right. Now that's done. Now I want to go over to the layer. Double click on that layer. Click on blend mode. Go down to overlay. Click OK. Now you want to Command T for Mac to um, so you can move this around. I'm going to turn it sideways, vertical, and stretch it out a little bit. You can move it any way you'd like. 
to and when you're done click on the selection tool click apply and click on command D to deselect all of the items that are selected and you do do this two or three more times I want to do it two more time well one more time okay there's my layer two the marquee tool make sure it's selected onto the oval one I'm gonna make the oval from left to right now I'm gonna choose my brush and make the size I'm gonna make it lower I'm gonna actually make the size about 200 Alright, I'm done. Double click on layer 2. Click on blend mode again. Overlay. Okay, now you're gonna command T again for you can um, transform this layer. Gonna move it over some more. As you can see, the, the little vista thing is starting to come in shape. Um, now I'm going to click Command D, sorry, not Command D, um, the selection tool, click Apply. Now I'm going to click demand, Command D to um, deselect all those layers. And I'm going to do this one more time. I already got a new layer. And I'm going to go back to the Marquee tool, make that oval again from sorry left to right pick that brush make it even smaller put it down to like 180 not that small but smaller and go around those edges again All right, that's done. Double click on that layer again. Um, go down to overlay, blend mode overlay. Okay, that's done. Now I'm gonna click Command T to transform. I'm gonna rotate that again. And now I wanna transform. Well, sorry. Now I wanna put that one kind of sideways, like this. So we're just gonna extend these out so that all right and now you instead of making more layers all you can do is just duplicate these layers and um that's it and click on command t to transform those layers to how you want them to be thanks for watching